Coming up, I will discuss how you can live a more rewarding personal and professional life if you can eliminate these 10 things. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Matthew Royce. I am a knowledge enthusiast. The one thing that is constant in our lives and careers is change. The more you resist change, the more challenging it becomes. The good news is that you can change your life if you stop doing certain things. Here are 10 things you should stop doing today so you can change your life for the better. Number one, saying yes to everything. Sure, you can say yes to every request that comes to you. It may make you popular, but remember, every yes is a no to something else in your life. You can't do it all, even if you wanted to. It would help if you stayed focused on your priorities. Your time must align with your values. You must understand that it's okay to say no. It may not seem like it, but you can say no without burning bridges. Number two, thinking you have no choices. Don't forget that life is all about choices. Whether you want to quit your job, end a relationship, or improve your bad habits, you have a choice in everything you do. We are a product of the choices we make, not the circumstances that we face, said Roger Crawford, an American athlete, author, and speaker. Life is about deciding how you want to shape your life and career. Don't feel sorry for yourself and believe things are out of your control. You have choices. Number three, doubting your experience and skills. Confidence is everything, and it plays a significant part in your success. Everyone has doubts, and those who are successful are the ones who face their fears. No one will believe in you if you don't believe in yourself first. Life is about being a lifetime learner. If you believe that you're not talented or experienced enough, you'll live to that self-fulfilling prophecy. Number four, resisting change. Change is hard, but it's part of life. It would be best if you face the hard truths about change. The most successful people will see change as an opportunity, while those struggling in their life see change as tiring, overwhelming, and threatening. Maintaining the status quo doesn't help. Number Number five, putting yourself last. Don't neglect self-care. It's easy to put your needs on the back burner when raising a family or growing your career. You must focus on your needs and sharpen the saw every day. Putting yourself first doesn't make you selfish. Self-care is about taking care of yourself to better take care of others. When you practice taking care of yourself, you wake up energized and be the best version of yourself. Number six, not protecting your time. You must assess where you spend your time. If you feel like there's not enough time in the day, you must re-examine your priorities. Focus your time on putting your talent to its best use. Time is precious and you can't get it back. The clock keeps moving forward in your life. You can never get wasted time back later. Become vigilant with your time by blocking out time on your calendar. Create boundaries and say no to things and people that drain you. Don't take on unnecessary tasks, meetings, or projects. Number seven, trying to be perfect. Don't pursue perfection. Strive for excellence. Sometimes good enough works. You don't have to be perfect in everything you do. No one's life is perfect. It would help if you focused on growth, not perfection. When you want everything to be perfect, you slow your output and outcomes. You suffer in other areas of your life because you concentrate too much on having things be just perfect. Number eight, believing you know everything. If you think you know everything, you quickly become an uninformed person in your life. The world is constantly evolving and some knowledge has a shelf life. Your ability to learn and adapt is your key to survival and growth. You must try to add new skills, become more curious, seek out new ideas, information, and perspectives. Number nine, assuming others know your value. Don't assume others know you are a go-to expert on a specific topic. It takes hard work to stay top of mind with others. You must show others how you can help them. Show them your strengths and your unique perspectives. When you proactively help others, they will understand your value. Number 10, telling yourself negative stories. Our mind is powerful because it controls what we do. Our inner voice can sabotage us and hold us back if we think negatively. Our mindset is our most critical asset, yet we don't realize it. We can let negative news impact our thoughts, going from I'm the king or queen of the world to I can't do this. Okay, let's bring it all together. First, if you like what you saw here, please hit the subscribe button below. You can live a more rewarding life if you stop doing certain things and start doing other things. Take a good hard look in the mirror and tell yourself that you can do this. Thank you for watching. Until next time.